Hey, what's up guys? Hope you're having a great day. I'm gonna show you how to set up a diamond material in Octane today. So we're gonna start with a default specular. I'll just delete this one and we'll make a new one. You can go to materials and specular material. We'll throw that onto our diamond and then we'll get started. So here's what the default uh, specular material is gonna look like. So we definitely have a little bit of work to do. Uh, one thing to note is that before you start messing with this, make sure that your Fong angle is set up. So if we go to, to this big diamond, right now the Fong angle is at zero. When I brought this model in, I think it was at 90. You can see that it looks uh, quite a bit different. You wanna make sure you drop that Fong down to zero so you have all these really nice hard faces and facets. All right, so let's open up this material here. The first thing that we're gonna look at is the index. Now the index is uh, short for index of refraction. And these are real life index of refraction uh, numbers here. So what we can do is actually Google the index of refraction for a diamond, and I've already done that. So let's go ahead and check this out. On Wikipedia, there is a list of refractive indices, and we just need to scroll down until we find diamond right here. And we have 2.417. So this is a really nice way to get a jump start on texturing. If you look here, we have um, an index of refraction for all of these different real world things. So 2.417, let's punch that in. 2.417 and we'll see what that looks like. And already we're getting a dramatically different result and it looks a lot more like a diamond, right? It's looking really nice. So let's look at a picture of a diamond. And you'll notice that there's a lot of color in diamonds. There's a lot of rainbow patterns and nice little highlights of color inside of the diamond. So we need to figure out how to do that. And we're going to use the dispersion. Um, so dispersion coefficient is going to introduce color into all these facets and have kind of rainbow patterns. So let's just kick that up. And immediately you're gonna see we're adding color and rainbows and basically it went from looking a little flat to looking like a real diamond. So that's it, just play with the index of refraction and play with the dispersion and you can get some really nice results very quickly in Octane. We'll be back with some more quick tips for Octane in the near future. Until then, and as always, thank you for checking out the Pixel Lab. We'll see you next time, ciao.